In November, Utahns will vote on a constitutional amendment that, if passed, will give lawmakers the power to make changes to state ballot measures after they've passed. So today, an organization called Better Boundaries is launching a campaign in response. ABC4's Kate Gardner has the story. Dozens of people, Republicans and Democrats alike, lining the steps of the Utah State Capitol today to show their support for the Better Boundaries Vote No campaign. This campaign has a goal, to get Utahns to vote down that constitutional amendment, which they say is nothing more than a power grab. Vote no, vote no. Vote no. the chant fills the South Lawn at the Capitol. The reason for it, a proposed constitutional amendment. I mean, it blows my mind as a conservative to ever go and react in that way by unsettling foundational documents and understandings. It's not conservative at all, and that offends me personally. If passed, it'll allow lawmakers to change or reject citizen initiatives even after they pass. Well, then that invalidates our ability to actually do what has been part of our Constitution for 124 years. This all started in 2018. Voters passed a ballot initiative to have congressional maps drawn up by a special commission. Lawmakers later repealed parts of that law and adopted its own map that split Salt Lake County among four congressional districts, favoring Republican candidates. Voting rights groups sued the state in response. Slaters are insulated from accountability because it's very hard for people to vote them out. So it's a way for them to consolidate power. This July, the Utah Supreme Court unanimously voted to let that lawsuit go forward. Some legislators, like Senate President Stuart Adams, says this decision does not outline how lawmakers can make changes, leaving them open to more lawsuits. It's really weird that they didn't define that and give us a definition of what our Constitution said. Maybe, it, maybe they don't know what it is, but we don't have a good definition of alter reform. But others, like Senator Daniel Thatcher, say the court's decision draws a clear line. If it impairs or overturns then you have to show your work. In response to the court, the legislature held a special session last week, passing a measure to place the constitutional amendment on the November ballot. Some believe without it, special interest groups will have too much power. But now we have big money special interest groups that can seize on opportunities to go around the usual legislative process and enact binding law through sound bites and strategic PR campaigns. But Better Boundaries calls the proposed amendment a power grab and has a message for voters. First of all, let's get this amendment voted down. But also, we need to hold legislators accountable in any phase, uh, at any time, when they pursue their own interests over those of the people. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.